Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to the English Fluency Mission, where you learn English with movies and TV shows. I am Steve, your English Fluency Coach, and today we are going to make you learn English vocabulary and a few idioms along with a connected speech example through a ghost show named Supernatural. This is a delighted and horrible show and this English lesson through the Supernatural show will be excited to you. So without further ado, let's jump into the topic. Tiger. Dean? <laughs> you scared the crap out of me. It's because you're out of practice. <laughs> or not. Get off me. I mean, come on. You can't just break in middle of the night and expect me to hit the road with you. You know, I hear me, Sammy. Dad's missing. I need you to help me find him. You mind if we ask you a couple questions? I was on the phone with Troy. He was driving home. He said he would call me right back. And, uh... He never did. He didn't say anything strange or out of the ordinary? What is it? Well, it's just, I mean, with all these guys going missing, people talk. What do they talk about? It's kind of this local legend. This one girl, she got murdered out on Centennial, like decades ago. Well, supposedly she's still out there. She hitchhikes, and whoever picks her up well, they disappear forever. So this is where Constance took the swan dive. So you think Dad would have been here? Well, he's chasing the same story, and we're chasing him. OK, so now what? Now we keep digging till we find him. It might take a while. Dean, I told you, I've got to get back by Monday. Monday. Right, the interview. Yeah. Ah, I forgot. You're really serious about this, aren't you? You think you're just gonna become some lawyer? Marry your girl? Maybe, why not? Does Jessica know the truth about you? I mean, does she know about the things you've done? No, and she's not ever going to know. Well, that's healthy. Sam. Where'd she go? I don't know. What the? Who's driving your car? Tiger? Dean? <laughs> you scared the crap out of me. It's because you're out of practice. <laughs> or not. Get off me. I mean, come on. You can't just break in middle of the night and expect me to hit the road with you. You know, I hear me, Sammy. Dad's missing. I need you to help me find him. You scared the crap out of me is rude slang, which means to shock or frighten someone very suddenly or badly. It's an idiom that has the same meaning as you scared me but you shouldn't use it with random people, maybe with your close friends. Examples. The sound of the fire alarm scared the crap out of us this morning. Next. Don't shout at me like that. You scared the crap out of me. Oh, easy, Tiger. Dean? <laughs> you scared the crap out of me. It's because you're out of practice. <laughs> or not. Get off me. I mean, come on, you can't just break in middle of the night and expect me to hit the road with you. Break in has been taught in English with Aladdin. In this lesson, you can learn a lot of new vocabulary and idioms. The link is given in the description below and above I button. You may watch this lesson after completing the current lesson. I mean, come on, you can't just break in middle of the night and expect me to hit the road with you. Hit the road is an idiom that means to leave a place or begin a journey. Examples. I'd love to stay longer but I must be hitting the road. 
means, we must leave now. Next. We hit the road before sunrise. Means, we left the place before the sunrise. Hit here, is a verb and all forms of hit are the same, hit, hit, and hit. You mind if we ask you a couple questions? I was on the phone with Troy. He was driving home. He said he would call me right back. And, uh, he never did. He didn't say anything strange? Or out of the ordinary? What is it? Well, it's just... I mean, with all these guys going missing, people talk. What do they talk about? It's kind of this local legend. This one girl, she got murdered out on Centennial, like, decades ago. Well, supposedly, she's still out there. She hitchhikes, and whoever picks her up, well, they disappear forever. Do you mind is a phrase and it's used for getting someone's permission to do something. This can either be polite, impolite, or humorous. If someone says it in a loud way, they are showing that they are angry or annoyed. Examples. Do you mind? I was sitting there. Here someone is showing anger because he sat in his seat. Next. Do you mind, if I ask you the way to the computer market? Instead of do you mind, you can also say, would you mind helping me come out of the car? With would you mind, the next verb will be used in present participle form. It's kind of this local legend. This one girl, she got murdered out on Centennial, like, decades ago. Well, supposedly, she's still out there. She hitchhikes, and whoever picks her up, well, they disappear forever. Hitchhike as a verb means, to travel by getting free rides in someone else's vehicle, or taking a lift in someone else's vehicle. Examples. They hitchhiked to Paris. Means, they traveled to Paris free of cost by taking a lift in someone else's vehicle. Next. Neither I hitchhike in someone else's vehicle, nor I make someone hitchhike in mine. She hitchhikes, and whoever picks her up, well, they disappear forever. So this is where Constance took the swan dive. So you think Dad would have been here? Well, he's chasing the same story and we're chasing him. Swan dive as a noun means, a dive into the water, in which you hold your arms out from your sides, until you are close to the water. Example. I was scared watching him taking a swan dive into the river. So this is where Constance took the swan dive. So you think Dad would have been here? Well, he's chasing the same story and we're chasing him. Chase is a verb, and if you chase someone, or chase after them, you run after them or follow them quickly to catch or reach them. Examples. She chased the thief for 100 yards. Next. I will chase you wherever you go. Okay, so now what? Now we keep digging till we find them. Might take a while. Keep on doing something is a phrasal verb that means, to continue to do something, or to do something again and again. Whenever we do something multiple times, then we can use this. Examples. She kept on asking me questions. Here according to the tense or structure, changes will occur in keep verb only, and the next adjoining verb will always remain in present participle form. Look at more examples. I will keep uploading new lessons every week to help you learn vocabulary, idioms, weak forms through movies. Here upload is the main verb that is again in present participle form, and we used will before keep, because this is an example of future simple tense. Next. You should keep watching these lessons through American TV shows to improve your English. Here watch is the main verb, that's in present participle form again, and should is a modal verb which is used before the keep. So whatever changes occur, will occur in keep only. Keep doing or keep on doing. Both have the same meaning. Okay, so now what? Now we keep digging till we find them. Might take a while. Dig as a verb means, to search somewhere, when you are looking for an object or information. Examples. He dug into his pocket and took out a few coins. Means, he searched in his pocket. Next. As I dug deeper into his past, I realized that there was a lot about this man that I didn't know. Means. As I searched about his past, I got a lot of information about him that I did not know earlier. Okay, so now what? 
Now we keep digging till we find him. Might take a while. Dean, I told you, I've got to get back by, by Monday. Monday. Right. The interview. Yeah. Ah, I forgot. You're really serious about this, aren't you? You think you're just gonna become some lawyer? Marry your girl? Maybe. Why not? Does Jessica know the truth about you? I mean, does she know about the things you've done? No, and she's not ever going to know. Here Dean asks Sam, does Jessica know the truth about you? This is an example of connected speech. Here, about you turns into, about you. Does Jessica know the truth about you? That's how natives cut and link together and speak naturally. Look at the clip again. Does Jessica know the truth about you? I mean, does, does Jessica know the truth about you? I mean, does, does Jessica know the truth about you? I mean, does she know about the things you've done? No, and she's not ever going to know. Well, that's healthy. Sam. Where'd she go? I don't know. What the? He's driving your car. 